What's up, my name is Sam and today we will be recapping a few playoff games and talking about some NBA news that happened this week. And let's start off with game two of the Miami Heat versus the New York Knicks in New York. And here, the Knicks tie the series 1-1. No Jimmy Butler. Jalen Brunson was a game time decision. Julius Randle was a game time decision. And here it was, you know, Bam struggled a lot and it took the the Heat's new big three of Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, and Caleb Martin to step up to at least make it a game. It was really competitive. Back and forth, back and forth. It was a lot closer than I what I should have what I expected of this of this game, especially with Jimmy Butler being out. I mean, Jalen Brunson did struggle off in the beginning of the game, but then he ended up with thirty just, you know, sealing the game, catching fire at the end. You know, Julius Randle had himself a game, but he just looked dead tired. And, I mean, that's just with Tibbs and rotations, but, you know, he looked dead tired, and hopefully the ankle's not bothering him too much. And then R.J. Barrett, another big game that he has stepped up, and that's what they need for him, just for him to be solid and have solid games. And the Knicks take it here, 1-1 with a game that they really needed to win, going into Miami, because going 0-2 into Miami – Jimmy Butler's got some adrenaline, and you know, but I mean, they take they get home court advantage back with winning one in New York, and hopefully here you can you can win two in Miami, but it's gonna be tough. I mean, we don't know how long Jimmy Butler's gonna be out for, whether he's gonna play game three or if he's gonna take till game four. But I mean, hopefully here he can be back healthy, um, back and healthy, so it can be a good series. And the next series, probably now the most exciting series in the second round. The Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Lakers. And man, oh man, Anthony Davis, 30 points, 23 rebounds. He is the fifth player in Lakers Nation to do that. I think, I don't know if it's all time in the regular season, but I don't know if it's the regular season or the, just the postseason. Man, congratulations to him. He had himself a huge game, and that's what they needed from them. They desperately need that. Vando stepped up, um, Dilo stepped up. LeBron had a solid game, not as good, but you know what? Anthony Davis stepped up and had a huge, huge game. This is what we've been expecting of Anthony Davis. I think this is what we, we've we been waiting for, for him to be like consistently, you know, since he got to Los Angeles. This is the, you know, this is his team, LeBron's number two. He can do the 22-11 rebounds and stuff like that. And here... Man, Anthony Davis has a huge game, and that's what the Lakers needed to win this game. Steph Curry did struggle a little bit at first, and then in the fourth quarter, caught them back up. Kevon Looney, 23 rebounds. Amazing. And they needed every single one of it. And, and it was because the the Golden State Warriors almost pulled it off. They made a huge run in the fourth quarter, and then Jordan Poole just chucks up a shot with like 15 seconds left. No, no shot clock, nothing. Just throws it up from like... Almost 30 feet, 30 feet by 30 feet from the basket, and just and he's not he finally has a good game. He finally scores over the 12 point mark that he needed, but then now just it was just simple mistakes like that. And I was really rooting for the the Warriors, but I think I mean the series is far from over. The, you know, the Warriors are a really good team on on the at home, but Anthony Davis having 30 20, I mean. What one more can you expect for Fern to play well, and then for everybody else, the role players to play well, like D'Lo, and then for LeBron to have a decent night? I mean, this is the Anthony Davis that we've been wanting. This is the Anthony Davis that's like, maybe he's there with Giannis and Embiid, but we got to see more. we got to see more. I don't want to jump the gun yet. Denver Nuggets versus the Suns. There's gonna be there's not going to be a game till Friday, and it looks like Denver can sweep the, the Suns. They look like they're that good enough. Chris Paul looks like he's not going to play till if there's a game six, and to force a game six versus the Suns, how they've been playing, it's going to be it's going to be asking a lot. DeAndre um, Aiden has been kind of semi semi aggressive, and we saw that whole video in game one where he just stands there and Kevin Durant's just fighting for his life for a rebound. But I mean, if the Suns do get swept, it's going to be some conversations about DeAndre Aiden and the role players because. I mean, they gave up a lot of depth to get Kevin Durant and then to get swept in the second round by the Nuggets. I mean, that's going to be crazy. And for the Nuggets, I mean, if I'm the Nuggets, I'm hoping I sweep them, get some get some rest um, before the WCF. And let the, you know, we'll sit here after four games, we'll get some rest, make sure everybody's healthy, and then we'll let the Lakers and the Warriors take themselves to seven games, which, I mean, that's the best case scenario for them. But hopefully the, the Suns can at least take one. And then with game two today, the Boston Celtics versus the 76ers. 
I mean, game one was just James Harden was vintage. Malcolm Brogdon made the most bonehead move, like throwing it straight to Tyrese Maxey for them to take the lead. And it was just, man, it was just something else. That was an amazing game. But here, Mr. MVP Joel Embiid, congratulations to him for winning the MVP award. Now it's time to make a run. Now it's time to show. And I'm hoping, you know, I, I'm a big Jason Tatum guy. I'm a big Celtics guy. Um, I like Jalen Brown, Derek White, of course, as his former Spur. But, I mean, I, I like the story of Joel Embiid versus Jokic in the finals. And you know what? Let's see who gets this this finals and the finals MVP. I'm hoping for that. But, I mean, I mean I'm kind of worried because I believe it was a tear in his ligament, his knee. And that's like, man... I mean, it's not something to really play around with, and especially with a really good team like the Boston Celtics, who I think they just, I mean, it just wasn't their night in Boston, but I would I would have them taking game two, making it 1-1, definitely making it 1-1, because you do not want to go 0-2 in Philly, and that crowd is going to be electric if they go 0-2, and they're like, you know what, let's make it 3-0, no one's ever came back from 3-0, and that's pretty much all she wrote if that happens. And here, man, but I have the Celtics taking um, game two, Hopefully they can, they can take this one. And Jason Taylor and Jalen Brown just need to be better. Jalen Brown, I understand he had almost what was it? He had almost thirty. Or, he had, he he was scoring the ball, but I think he didn't have. He had ten shot attempts, which is ridiculous. I know Tatum almost had forty, but still, ten shots from your second best player is ridiculous. Hopefully he's more aggressive this game, but man. But I want you to comment down below. What do you think of these series? And it was Joel Embiid, your MVP. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Friday with more content. And we will be having a UFC 288 um, predictions.